old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a bat bat here and a bat bat there, here a bat, there a bat, everywhere a bat bat. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Hi, everybody. I'm Pastor Deb. Welcome to Family and Friends Gathering for February 2021. Why are we singing Old MacDonald had a farm at Family and Friends Gathering? That's because you guys gave piggies, are still going to give piggy banks, so that our change will change the lives of other people. We're going to buy bees and chicks and maybe a cow and goats and pigs, all the things on a farm, so that these people can also raise animals and make a living and feed themselves. Our change will change their lives. So thanks for being part of Change for Change. Let's sing more about loving each other in action and about animals. I love little baby ducks, old pickup trucks, slow moving trains and rain. I love little country streams, sleep without dreams, Sunday school in May and hay. And I love you too, I love leaves in the wind, pictures of my friends, birds of the world, and squirrels. I love coffee in a cup, little fuzzy pups, old TV shows, and snow. smiles, kisses from a child, tomatoes on the vine, and onions. And I love winners when they cry, losers when they try, music when it's good, and life. What did you say? What say? Oh, oh! You can tell me. You love monster. You can tell me anything. I'm a pastor. 
love. You want people to remember to love? That's what this is all about? Well, I guess so. Here we are in this beloved space, and we remember the presence of God, the presence of God's love as we share together. So we light this candle, and there's a song that we sing together, one we share, one we love, one that reminds us of love. Everybody, our Bible verse from today is 1 John 3:18. Little children, let us love not in word and speech, but in truth and action. Hi everybody. I am so glad I get to be with you today, even if it's only this way. And I brought a friend with me. This is Love Monster. Hi Love Monster. Say hello to family and friends. <laughs> and we have a story today about Love Monster and the last chocolate, the one left from Valentine's Day. Love Monster, shall we read this story? Okay, let's see what it says. It's about you and chocolates. Love Monster and the Last Chocolate. Love Monster was very sad that he missed the Valentine's Day party with his friends. He couldn't be there. He was very sad. But when he looked out his door, he saw something. What is this? A box of chocolates just sitting there waiting to be found. Love Monster couldn't believe it. You see, everybody knows that monsters seriously love chocolate, especially this love monster. His mouth started to water just thinking about what might be inside. It could be a peanut butter crunch, or an extra fizz banger sherbet, or a double chocolate strawberry swirl. That is Love Monster's absolute favorite. What do you think's inside? But 
Then he had a thought that he just couldn't unthink. Ugh, he should probably share the chocolates with his friends. But what if there weren't enough? Or what if someone took the one he wanted most? Or worst of all, what if the only one left for him was the coffee one? Ew! Everybody knows monsters hate the coffee one, especially this monster. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that after thinking all these thoughts, love monsters decided it would be safer and kinder and better for everyone if he kept the chocolates just for himself. So he went into his house and so did the box of chocolates without a whisper of a word to anyone. Love Monster couldn't wait. Oh, how his mouth watered. But just as he went to lift the lid, he sort of had a queasy, squeezy feeling in his heart. That little blue heart. It was the feeling a monster gets when he knows he's about to do something he shouldn't. And before you could say, pass me the truffle surprise, he burst out of his house and ran as fast as his toes would carry him to find his friends. And when he did, in a very out of breath and a bit shouty voice, he said, I just got back and I found some chocolates and I was going to keep them all to myself. They're left from Valentine's. And do you know what his friend said? Silly monster, just open the box. And he did. To love monster, we missed you so much. We saved you our last chocolate, your favorite, because you're our favorite monster. You see, sometimes when you stop to think of others, that's when you find out how much they think of you. See, sometimes when we do good things for others, it turns out good for us too. We find how much we're loved and we share that love and there is more love to share for everybody. And I am so proud of the ways you show your love for other people, just like we did with our piggy bank coins and other ways like with Chocolate's Love Monster, that we're going to sing a song about the magic of sharing our love. One way we can love each other in action and learn to share is through our $20 giveaway challenge. Two families took that challenge this month. Here are their stories. You watch. Six things that we can do to help people. Number one. Find clothes to people who don't have clothes. Number two, 
diseases. Helping doctors and scientists study diseases. Number three, food. For people that don't have any food. Number four, money. Giving people money so they can buy their own things. Number five, blankets. People who are cold. And number six, help when tornadoes and earthquakes come. Why do you notice these are separate? And this is separate from the other five because this is the one we chose. How we chose it is we got a dice, we rolled it on the table, and then three times in a row it chose number six. And I kind of wanted that too. So yeah. So we decided to donate $20 to Red Cross. Hello, we chose the helping the homeless because the month if somebody had a broken tent, they could buy a new one. Or if someone had a tarp tent, they could buy an actual tent and they could buy more food and shelter and clothes to keep warm. Mm -hmm. What about in this cold weather? So. Like they in this cold weather they could buy um like um warm super warm coats and super warm pants. And do you remember the name of the the organization that we're gonna donate the money to? Mm. Starts with an S. So Sal salve. Salvation. Uh-huh. And then the next word? Army. That's right. Salvation mm. Army. Why did we think it might be called Army? Because the, because they're fighting for helping the homeless. That's right. We chose the Salvation Army in part because the Everett Food Bank that the Salvation Army runs is on Rucker Avenue, which is the road that Elliot and I drive to preschool every day. And we get to see them bringing food boxes to people and helping our community. And so we just wanted to be a little part of that. We also learned that the Salvation Army is setting up a winter um, cold weather shelter for people in our community that need it. We would love more families from family and friends gathering to take the $20 giveaway challenge. If you would like $20 to give away and tell us how you did it, give Pastor Deb a call or a text or an email and you can be one of our $20 giveaway challenge families. Also, if you still need a family and friends gathering craft kit, let me know. I can still get you one and there will be time to make your own muddy pigs or your own chicks or cows. Some of the things that we're going to give away with our Change for Change challenge. Last, thank you for your offerings to family and friends gathering. That helps us keep going, helps us buy craft kits, get music, and do all the things this ministry is doing for us as a church and a community. Thank you for your generosity and your good stewardship of family and friends gathering.
is something you do when Jesus Christ is living in you. Now if you try to feel loving, you're in and then you're out. And when you find you're not loving, that's when you start to doubt. Love is something you do. Love is something you do. It's not always something you can feel, but it's real. Love is something you do. Love is something you do. When Jesus Christ is living in Like loving for Pete's sake, go ahead. But if you don't feel like loving, remember what we said. Love is something you do. Love is something you do. It's not always something you can feel, but it's real. Something you do, love is something you do when Jesus Christ is living in you. When Jesus Christ is living in you. It's been so good to be together. It's time for us to close in prayer. So would you, along with Love Monster and all those at your house, would you fold hands? We'll offer up our prayers. Oh God, we give thanks that you would love us first, that you would turn the world upside down for all that is good and right and true. Be with us now and always. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. What's that love monster? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, don't, yeah, I, I will remember. I'll remember to put out the candle for sure. But these words, go in peace, be the light, be the love of God. Thanks be to God.